Welcome to Roving AI News Music Segment. I am Carla Brown, and I am your host today. Today we cover a story about how a Nancy worked with Nancy and Henry Morgan. In the land of Jamaica, there was a spider named Anansi, who was known for his cunning and trickery. One day, Anansi heard of a notorious pirate named Henry Morgan, who had been raiding Spanish ships and amassing a great fortune in gold. Anansi knew that he could not resist the lure of such riches, so he hatched a plan to steal Morgan's treasure. He gathered a group of his spider friends and set off to intercept Morgan's ship as it sailed into port. Using his powers of persuasion and a good amount of smooth talk in Jamaican patios, Anansi convinced Morgan that he and his spider friends were skilled sailors who could help him in his pirate raids. Morgan was impressed with Anansi's charisma and agreed to take him and his crew aboard his ship. For several weeks, Anansi and his spider friends worked hard alongside Morgan's crew, helping to plot and execute their raids on Spanish ships. Anansi kept a close eye on Morgan's treasure, biding his time until the perfect opportunity to strike. Finally, during a raid on a Spanish ship off the coast of Panama, Anansi saw his chance. While the other pirates were busy fighting, he slipped into the hold and stole a chest of gold coins. Anansi knew that he had to be careful, so he buried the gold in a secret location and covered his tracks. But he made a fatal mistake, he boasted about his successful theft to Nanny, the leader of the Maroon community in Jamaica. Nanny was not impressed with Anansi's dishonesty and trickery. She had fought long and hard for her people's freedom, and she knew that Anansi's actions could bring trouble to the Maroon community. So she demanded that Anansi give the gold back to Morgan and never steal from him again. Anansi was hesitant to return the gold, but he knew that he had no choice. He feared Nanny's wrath, and he didn't want to lose the respect of the Maroon community. Anansi was a clever spider who always had a trick up his sleeve. Despite returning the stolen gold to Morgan, he still had a burning desire to get his hands on the treasure once again. He knew that Morgan was a greedy man who would do anything for more wealth and power. So Anansi began to work his charm on the pirate captain, flattering him and playing to his ego at every opportunity. Slowly but surely, Anansi convinced Morgan that he was the only one capable of leading Jamaica to even greater riches. He whispered in his ear, using his smooth Jamaican patois to convince him that he was the only one who could make Jamaica prosper. Morgan was taken in by Anansi's words and promised to make him the governor of Jamaica. Anansi was overjoyed, he knew that this was his chance to keep the gold and become even richer. And so, when Morgan sailed back to England to report his victories to the king, Anansi stayed behind and began to plot his next move. He used his powers of persuasion to convince the people of Jamaica that he was the best candidate for governor, playing on their hopes and fears to secure their support. In the end, Anansi succeeded in his scheme. He became the governor of Jamaica and used his power to hoard the gold, refusing to share it with anyone else. He built a grand mansion with the stolen treasure and lived a life of luxury, always keeping one eye on the treasure and the other on his enemies. But in the end, Anansi's greed would be his downfall. The people of Jamaica grew tired of his corrupt rule and rose up against him, demanding that he be removed from power. Anansi tried to use his powers of persuasion to talk his way out of trouble, but it was too late. The people had had enough of his lies and trickery. And so Anansi was forced to flee, taking his stolen treasure with him into the darkness. Despite his downfall, Anansi remained a legend in Jamaica, a symbol of cunning and wit that would always be remembered in the island's folklore. And although his tale serves as a warning about the dangers of greed and corruption, it also reminds us of the power of words and the importance of using our wits to survive in a world that is often harsh and unforgiving. Please remember to like and subscribe. If there are other topics that you would like to see, please reach out. Thanks, and good night.